There was a time not long ago when it seemed Brooklyn trolleys might enjoy a revival. Under the leadership of Bob Diamond, president of the Brooklyn Historic Railway Association, track was laid and some cars even made short demonstration runs along the Red Hook waterfront. But then the city pulled the plug on the project and the trolley cars have sat dormant ever since. Only now the mayor wants to give trolleys another look. I'm just completely thrilled that the mayor Bloomberg has realized the uh, merits of the trolley project. Bloomberg signaled his interest in trolleys at a campaign event Monday where he unveiled a number of new transportation proposals. We will look into the feasibility of using the city's old trolley tracks to create new streetcar service in growing waterfront neighborhoods in Queens and Brooklyn, starting with Red Hook. Red Hook is a prime candidate because development along the waterfront is growing and because the area is underserved by mass transit. What's more, Diamond says, trolleys can hold about two busloads of passengers and have zero emissions. And the infrastructure is relatively cheap to build. Even these old cars, he says, can still be restored. A light rail or a streetcar line usually costs about one-twentieth of what a subway line would cost. And uh, they're outside and they use existing streets, so there's no right-of-way acquisition. And the track can be built very quickly. The next step is for the DOT to conduct a study looking at the feasibility of light rail or trolley service here in Red Hook. The study will be paid for with about $300,000 in federal funding and is expected to start by the end of the year. In Brooklyn, Bobby Cusa, New York One.